I have the driest eyes. I don't know about you. Ever get dry eyes? That I is can't claim to have known this information for very long, but I do know it. Michael, what have you done? I was trying to help people. Hi, uh, I'm Rebecca Brayton from Watch Mojo. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you guys? Very good. Good, thank you. So, uh, we're actually doing a video on the origins of the character Morbius. So, I was wondering uh, if there's anything that you guys can tell us about the or kind of the origin story of the character that our audience might not already know. He's a Capricorn. Uh, <laughs> likes long walks on the beach and uh, people with a sense of humor. Uh, no, I mean, the great thing about Morbius is there was so much to explore. Uh, and there were different iterations, different versions of the characters. There were different writers that took different um, the character in different places. And the thing that I liked is I had an opportunity here to bring the character to the screen for the very, very first time. And that, that's quite a, an honor. It's, it's more and more rare that you get an opportunity to do one of these characters for the first time because a lot of the iconic characters have been interpreted and uh, interpreted and portrayed before so I like that and uh, I'm excited about introducing a new Marvel character to the world why shouldn't they know what it feels like for a change just accept who you are the bad guy in one of the comic books um, apparently rather than biting people he used to have suckers on his hands. He could suck your blood like that. That is I can't a good claim to have known this information for very long, but I do know it. <laughs> when we enter the movie, he is uh, within days and weeks from dying and that pushes him to make a very radical decision, not to uh, cure him, but to save his own life. And that uh, thrusts him into this monster uh, who uh, is very different from Michael himself. Michael. When you're strange, Can you control it? I don't know. And uh, But those urges, those instincts that he feels are very similar to things that he has felt within him. So the question is, uh, is this monster his true self? And this, uh, you know, a beautiful person, a facade or, or vice versa, you know? Something else that we like to do um, is something called favorite, least favorite, which is basically where I, it's kind of like, would you rather? Sort right. of. Let's um, do it. Okay, cool. So favorite, least favorite, power or ability that your character has in the movie? Oh, wow, least favorite power or ability. Why would you have a least favorite one? That's my question. Okay, favorite flying, hands down. Being able to fly, great. Let's just see that as red, great. Least <laughs> favorite, power or ability. Can it be human or otherwise? Sure. I mean, my character's got a terrible dress sense. I was wondering about the sneakers. Oh no, the sneakers are the good bit. The sneakers yeah. are the good bit with me. That's my idea. <laughs> oh no. It's a fun movie about an outsider who uh, becomes a Marvel superhero, but then has to uh, deal with maybe being his own biggest enemy. Something like that. Yeah, How do you want great. me to go after that? <laughs> it's a great answer. No, I was just, I was gonna ask what the most interesting thing you learned about the character was. No, I think, there's something about nobility that is really interesting about Morbius that I didn't realize that I think until I watched the movie, yeah. right? That he like gives up a, a big title and has so much humility to what he does. And, you know, he is saving his life, but he's also an attempt to saving, you know, many people's lives and is sort of putting himself at risk for it. And that's sort of admirable. And I think that element or that side of, of Michael Morbius that comes out I, I think Martine really appreciated it and I found it really, really interesting. I went from dying to being more alive than ever. It worked. Not exactly. I have increased strength and speed and some form of bat radar. Were there any of his powers that you, or abilities that you kind of wish you had in real life? <laughs> Oh, all of them. I mean, it would be fun to, uh, I, I, but echo, echolocation I thought is, is quite unique. Be able to see with sound is kind of an interesting uh, 
thing to think about. Favorite, least favorite vampire character? Oh, Keeper Sutherland in Lost Boys or Banderas. Oh, I don't know, even Tom Cruise in um, Interview with a Vampire. Not for, I mean, I could talk about vampires all day. Least favorite? Who's, well, who's not a very good vampire though? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disparage Edward Cullen. Ah, but... right. <laughs> but Robert's good though, isn't he? He's, I he mean, is, I mean, he's good. Least favorite. I just love vampires so much. I'm trying to think of vampire movies that I've not. Well, really just done. name more favorites then. That's fine. Well, yeah, we said Banderas. Um, I kind of like uh, Danny Houston in Thirty Days of Night. He's great. Um, and then I like Christopher Lee as Dracula. Amazing. Yeah, I love. Vampires. I've always loved vampires. Ever since I was a kid, I, 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 one of the very first films I ever saw was 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 Dracula, and and black and white, and a beautiful performance, and of course Nosferatu, and you know so many great interpretations. Gary Oldman was incredible, um, and uh, I love the Anne Rice novels as well. I was a big fan of those when I was a kid. Now, something I noticed when I was watching the movie was I was keeping an eye for Easter eggs because we all love a good Easter egg. And I did see, I noticed at least one. There are, I'm sure there are many more. I, not, I noticed the Thomas and Kane Easter egg, which I believe was, uh, you know, some of the, the writers um, of, the, of the comics. Can, can you tell us, uh, Daniel, can you tell us about any other Easter eggs that we have missed? Or at least give us a hint, maybe. I think there are uh, things in uh, newspapers and walls. And mm -hmm. if you imagine that you are like, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 Kevin Spacey in The Usual Suspect, the wall behind, you know, that he makes all, all this information, we have like similar, similar walls, you know. There are tables with things on them. So I would be attentive to detail and then you would find a lot. But I can't tell you anything because they, they will kill me, you know, like, I mean, they will, you know. Who the hell are you, man? I am Venom. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. This movie is part of a larger, or at least fits into a larger universe in the MCU. Um, What's it like working on a movie like that? Like, are you given details that if you reveal, you would have to kill me? <laughs> I mean, uh, yes, they did. I mean, you, you know, they, they did. But when when I got signed on to the movie, they brought me into this small room and then they uh, put this chip in my brain and then, you know, and then they told me all these secrets that I later on forgot, you know, which was very problematic, but no, but they do. They do because you have to navigate within the world of, um, you know, of uh, the Marvel world. And then you have like the cinematic universe and you have the Sony-verse. So you have to understand the kind of the, the essential elements. Yeah. So yes, I know some secrets. We are also doing a video, uh, Morbius versus Venom. Uh, and I was wondering if you, uh, are there any other Marvel characters that you would like to interact with? Well, I mean, Spider-Man would be at the top of the list. Uh, how could you resist, right? So we actually had the opportunity to speak with you while you were on tour with uh, 30 Seconds to Mars in uh, 2013. And I wanted to get a follow-up or kind of an update to a question that we had asked you then, if you wouldn't mind. And it was basically, how do you keep your energy up? And in those days, <laughs> It was celery and cashews. Is that still the case? Still you know, the I feel case. like it's a question you ask someone when they get old, you know? Okay, no one's going to accuse you of getting old, just for the record. Well, um, sleep is a really good one. Uh, make sure you drink your water and stay hydrated. Um, I have the driest eyes. I don't know about you. Ever get dry eyes? My eyes are so goddamn dry. I can barely blink sometimes. Um, it's just a little lightning outside the window, don't worry. But uh, oh. yeah, I I, uh, I don't know. How do I keep my energy up? I think <laughs> being passionate about what you do in your life probably helps too. You know, being excited about, you know, the people in your life, the circumstances, your your goals, your, your, your you know, objectives, that, that probably helps you just keep the energy up too. Uh, I, I think so, yeah. And Adria also has like double secrets, you know? She has Star Wars secrets and she has Marvel oh, secrets, no. you know? So they're like... Uh, I'm stressing. Yeah, she's stressing. I don't blame you. <laughs> well, I will not press you for any more answers. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you so much.
To fix something that's broken. Until the remedy... ...is worse than the disease.